So today we're going to be doing a short comparison video between the Benchmade Infidel and the Microtech Ultratech. Now I know out the front automatic knives are illegal in many, many states. Luckily I live in Arizona where, let's be honest, you can get a 40 millimeter grenade launcher if you have the proper permits and pay the proper taxes, even though taxation is theft. Anyways, if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me in the comments if I am mistaken, but I believe the reason why switchblades are legal, because they used to be illegal in Arizona, but they're considered a concealed weapon, since the blade is concealed completely inside the handle, and then fires out when you open it. Um, luckily, I live in Arizona, which is a constitutional carry state, so concealed weapons are fine with or without a permit which is why I'm allowed to have one of my favorite tools, which is my incredibly permanent marker. I got a friend that makes these. His name is Apocalypse John, and he owns a company called Wasteland Tools. Uh, you can find him on Instagram at Wasteland Tool LLC, all one word, or hit up his website, wastelandtools.com. I believe he sells these for about $50. It's obviously a great conversation piece, definitely unique, and 99% of people that you'll come across have never seen anything like it, which makes it fun, but it's also quite utilitarian. I mean, obviously you can open boxes with it, but clearly you can open a lot of things with it. Set that to the side and onto the knives. So first off is gonna be the Benchmade Infidel. It does come in this neat little pouch in case you're a nerd and you like to wear your phone on your hip in a bone holster. Lame. Never used it. <clears throat> the knife, however, I have used a lot and you can see the wear on it and the finish. Uh, it's even been dropped because, well, I felt like being upset. I've carried this knife every single day. I've used it every single day at work and it has yet to fail me. And it's still sharp. It's definitely held its edge quite well. Run it across the steel every now and then just to maintain a straight edge, but it's overall pretty solid. Definitely still pokey too. Uh, I don't have any issues with the function of it. It opens when I need it to, it closes when I need it to. And it also does well upside down as long as you keep it oiled. As with all automatic knives, you need to oil them and maintain them. There's a little hole in the back and they recommend you drop a couple of drops of a uh, gun oil down it and then blow it out with compressed air to keep all the internal mechanisms lubed and you know keep them free of rust and such. <clears throat> so definitely a solid knife. It was a gift from my older brother. And I used to carry a Ravencrest knife back in the day I carried many of them until I could get my hands on a big boy knife. And this is it. And I will keep this one for a very long time. Now the Microtech belongs to my father. It was ordered for him and I just got it in the mail. And I've got to say, I'm very impressed. And when I open it up and play with it a little bit and use the excuse of making sure it was in order, <laughs> I, I got a little bit jealous. I've got to be honest. So this is the Microtech Ultratech. Immediate differences you can see, obviously the shape of the handle, the size of the handle is a little bit different. The width is definitely different. And I mean, that's for the most part, oh, glass breaker. Microtech is, they have a history of putting glass breakers on just about everything. If they made a gun, it would have a glass breaker on it. So, <clears throat> First off, your pricing. Benchmade comes in at about $500, and I have yet to see it for less than $450 new, which is a hefty price. And it's to the point where it's kind of hard to tell if you're paying for the knife or if you're partially paying for the name, because Benchmade has been big in the game for quite a long time, price wise, too. The Microtech is definitely not an under the radar brand. It's 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 not exactly a sleeper. People know Microtech. People that know knives know Microtech and they know that it has a strong history of quality. So the Ultratech is about $300. So you're looking at about $200 less and 
I, in my opinion, you're not getting two hundred dollars less of knife. I mean, it's it's a rock solid performer. It definitely has a very satisfying snap. It's it comes out with a lot more authority. It feels like well, it doesn't feel like it definitely comes out with a lot more authority than the Infidel. It closes the same way too. It's a little bit more of a firm spring, but that's what you're getting out of it. It's fantastic. So. The blade steels, although they use different blade steels, my, uh, Benchmade uses D2, and the Microtech uses an M390, but they both rate at about 60 to 62 on the hardness scale, so they should both have absolutely excellent edge retention, although because of that, sharpening them is a little bit more of a pain. Size differences, when open, you're looking at nine inches, and with the Microtech, when open, you are looking at 8.3 inches. Obviously, the Benchmade has a longer blade. The blade on the Benchmade is 3.9 inches, so about 4 inches. And in my opinion, what you would expect on a knife. The Microtech has a blade of 3.35 inches, which definitely is enough to get the job done. And when you hold it in your hand, it doesn't seem like it's a whole lot smaller than the Benchmade. So other than that, well, you got your pocket clips. I mean, this one does, in my opinion, the Infidel written on it, it's a little cheesy. But I mean, hey, you know, branding. But good retention. Uh, definitely stays in the pocket well. I haven't pocketed the Microtech because it's not mine and I'm not going to. But definitely a firm spring. Uh, in the steel, it's definitely not a spring in the steel, but the, the, the steel has a good spring to it. And I have no doubt that this is going to have no problem staying in the pocket. Uh, my father wanted me to find him, I, I guess, a gentleman's knife. And uh, I figured this was the one, especially because, you know, we're Italian. So went with the Italian bayonet style blade. So I had a hard time trying to find out. Uh, if the top was in fact sharpened on this, so I kind of hesitated in picking it But yes, the top half is sharp. It's not just for looks so you get your double-edged blade But I chose this one for him because there's also a spot You know, you can safely put your thumb on the back for detailed work Overall Honestly, I'd be happy with either. They are both fantastic knives. The Benchmade's a bit more pricey had I known that, well, I didn't really pay for either, but I'd have a really hard time. You get more blade with the Benchmade, but you pay more. You get a little bit less blade with the Microtech, you pay less, but then the action feels a lot more firm in the Microtech. Honestly, it's, it's kind of a draw. I'd be thrilled with either one, and I guarantee you would too. Honestly, I... I they both have great warranties. Obviously, with most knives, if you open them up, well, with most anything, if you open it up and do anything inside of it, you'll void your warranty immediately. But, I mean, they both have services where you can send them in for sharpening, send them in for maintenance, send them in for repairs, and they take care of you pretty good. One big difference is the Microtech has these really unique, interesting screws that they use, so you actually have to buy a tool if you want to be able to open it up. So I think that's stupid personally, but it is what it is. You're not supposed to open it up anyways if you ever want to possibly send it back for work. Benchmade uses standard Allen screws, so more opportunities to screw up. Also, they do have this liner inside, which apparently aids in the rigidity of the blade when it's open. However, this blade does have more play than the Microtech. So, but they say it's rock solid. They say it, it acts like a fixed blade when you're using it. So I have yet to find out if it's gonna pop back in under heavy use. I hope not to, cause I don't wanna destroy it. But at the end of the day, that's what they're both intended for. And that's pretty much about all I've got. Both great knives, solid quality. Be happy with both, and don't forget to hit up John at Wasteland Tools. Shit, that's not the, that's the wrong marker. That guy. I suppose you could use that one, but they're probably going to laugh at you.
Anyways, have a nice day. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section.